Today we're going to work on a few decision making drills to get you more focused and playing in the zone during games. What are decision making drills? Quite simply, decision making drills help you focus and concentrate like a real game. Because the real game, what you're really playing against is the score clock. So that's what these drills do. They help you focus and concentrate. And the whole key here for me with attack basketball, our philosophy is this is the closest we can also get you as a player development coach to a game-like atmosphere in practice. It's one thing to talk, locking in, being focused, but when you have time and score that's going against you, I don't want to yell because if you're competitive like I feel you are, watching us at home, you want to win that drill. You win that drill, you're going to win probably at, uh, take advantage of, of opportunities in practice and games too. So that's the point of decision-making drills. Also, my last point, I want you thinking in practice at a tech basketball. So then you can play with more feeling instinct in games because you play with more composure. See, the more composed you are when you play, the more at peace you are, things just happen. You allow them to happen. So let's get right to it. Okay, let me show you some decision-making drills that I want you to start off with so you can learn how to play calm under pressure. And that's all we're talking about right now is working on an active offhand, right? Your offhand, while you're dribbling, you need to keep active and engaged. And then legally learn how to use it. You're trying to reach for this basketball, put that ball down. I, I don't want to reach out here. I can't do that. I want to learn to turn my body. But again, this is like a shield, right? I'm like a superhero shielding. Now he has to reach way across my body. That's what an active offhand does. It protects you from a reaching defender. So here's the first thing we're going to do. He's dribbling the basketball, right? And you're going to push that ball back to me. We're going to activate that hand. Right, that's okay. Good, activate it, good. Yep, yep, good, change hands. All we're doing again, we're not really working on passing, more so just working on his head being forward, eyes being up, and working on the active hand. After we go there, we go tennis ball. And on tennis ball snatches, you want your palm to the ground, why? If your palm goes up and someone is on you, palm goes up, you're going to belly out. Belly out, he's going to play defense on me, he's going to turn and drive me out. We want palm down to the ground, so on the snatch. So now palm down to the ground, I can now use that offhand like I'm punching, but I'm not punching him, but it's going forward, but look at where I'm at. I'm lowering him, I'm winning that race going to the basket. Dribble the ball, snatch it, that's it. Right, we don't, I don't care about, I really don't care about his change of speed, Right, change of directions. I just want his eyes up with an active off hands. Change hands. Right, good. He's already working on a quick pace dribble anyway because he has to dribble that basketball and then catch this tennis ball at the same time. One more. Perfect. Great job. We're trying to reach 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month, and we need your help. We roll out five high quality videos every week to help you become a premium basketball player. So help us reach our goal and click that subscribe button. Okay, now I want to get into what I call my door drill series. Now we're talking about cue reads, right? We're talking about live ball moves now that Jake needs to make, but he also has to read my body language. So let's kind of give you the cues so you understand what we're talking about. If I turn to open up, that's your what? Straight line drive. Straight line drive, he also should have his left arm active and engaged, locked in, right? Palm down to the ground, hips dropped, going directly by me. Jake sees my chest, he's gonna change what? He's gonna change directions. We've been doing this for a while, so he knows. Active quick cue reads, I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of nonverbal with it. I'm not telling him what I'm doing. I might tell him, but I want him to read it. The whole idea though, is I want him to read it so he can learn to see these things in a quick strike to take advantage of his opportunities going to the basket. What we're gonna do, door drill wise, I'm gonna point. I want you to also to attack. Let's do it five times. Attack my hips, just get out and go. I'm also pointing, right? Let's say we had a time clock going. We're doing this back and forth, back and forth, ripping. All right, give me a change of direction. Change directions, hands up, good, good. See chest, see chest, good, that's okay. Now, not wrong read, that move is just tougher. I'm saying see chest, that move is good. He got by me, same move. Make it as quick as you made it. See chest, change what? Yeah, yeah, change directions. I'm not saying that's wrong, but look at what I know, because if I'm good enough, I'm gonna take that away. Don't fight it, invite it, invite the move. Change the direction, off hand. Put that off hand up there when you make that move. This is why I like making moves also away from the basket. Work out the kinks first, okay, here we go. Same concept, good, good, perfect. Go back, run back with it, right? Chest, 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 good. Off hand, good, one more time. Right, good, chest, good job, nice, good. 
Now, once we've done that, now here's the drill, Jake. We're gonna float. Float along the three-point line. Again, imagine me doing that for a time score. I might put 20 seconds on that. We gotta get 10 done. I don't give him no time to kind of catch his breath. I just need him moving. I'm gonna put 30 seconds on this. 30 seconds on this drill, We're going, and this is gonna be just for training's sake. You're gonna follow me along the three-point line, right? We're bouncing along, you're following. You give me the ball, you give me a cue, I know what to do. I see your chest, and the cue he gave me was to attack his hip, his right hip, his inside hip. That's the cue, I'm telling him. I might open up, he knows the straight line drive. I might jump in front of him. I may give him words, I may not give him no words. He just needs to read it. Bounce out, bounce out, bounce out. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Let's see again, I got 30 seconds on the clock. We're gonna try to get four done. Bounce with me, open up, good. Offhand, make sure the offhand's ready. Find me, find me, find me. Bounce, 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 bounce. Chest, good. I wanna see the offhand. Keep going, if I stay with it, right, bounce with me, bounce with me, chest. Bounce. There you go, there you go. Good, 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 good. Let's go, bounce, bounce, bounce. See, make him work a little bit. Yours, chest, good spin move. Way to get away, that's all good, one more. That's four. When you think and practice, you should be exhausted. But in games now, when you see this and that player's apprehensive at making those moves, you're gonna pass an attack because that's how you practice. Let's keep the momentum going with that bonus I mentioned earlier. We've covered a lot in this video and I really wanna make sure I'm helping you out. So I'd like to offer you a guide that covers all the muscle and basketball principles and in what switch to apply them. This is a powerful guide of best practice tips and skills empowering you to take charge of your game. Just click the link in the description below. You can download the guide I put together as my gift to you. And if you're really interested in becoming an all around elite player, check out our training vault bundle that can be found at the same link. It contains over 130 videos and three courses that cover 10 areas of basketball. It has everything you need to take control of your game. Enjoy your gift and keep attacking.